and I started thinking, well, first we got to go check it out and look at it with some good magnifying glasses and all that, and make sure that it's not mica. And if it's not, I'll come back here and uh, pan it out. And I started thinking, how long would it take me to do that? And, and, and the best I could figure was I could make $10 an hour. <laughs> At least until, you know, it got down to the last little bit. Mm -hmm. Then it'd be like, you know, sub-minimum wage. <laughs> and then I, was, I lost my gold fever real quick. I was like, oh. <laughs> I guess we got to find a place to get off to the side. All sorts of rocks around here. Look. If, if you stop right there, that's a great place to. There's some granite. Go yeah, this is all granite. What gets me is the sand. When we was up here before, I noticed all the sand in, in here. Of course, this is all loose granite. That's mm -hmm. that's from glacial stuff. The sand comes from that too. All right. I was able to crush it with my hand. Yeah. It looked like a rock, but it crumpled really easy. A real old one, I guess. I did not authorize an acceleration. It's busy. riding a bike I went to Eureka Springs once because it was a nice ride and it was a nice ride. It was a really nice ride there. Nice to ride around town a little bit but there were a lot of scary places. Something you'd never think about and that's what happens when you come up to an intersection that's downhill forward and sideways mm. and you know left is uphill and you need to turn left, but you're already leaning the bike over as much as you can to the ground, uh -huh. holding it up vertically. <laughs> so you can't turn left and you have to go on to the next intersection. And those intersections also are scary because that when you come to a stop, it's like make sure you're, you lean the bike to the uphill side because if it goes to the downhill side, it's gonna be on top of you before your foot ever hits the ground. <laughs> Some of those places, some of those, to drive it in a car in the town, you really need to make sure your brakes are good, your clutch is good if you got a manual. Before I made my trip here, I changed out all my tires. Maybe they were kind of getting old. What's funny is I remember the lake, driving alongside the lake back there being the roughest part. Must have just been tired. 